Hello and welcome to the third of seven um, fitness sessions to the return to dance fitness. Um, this is going to be the easy video and hopefully you've watched the warm-up video from either last week or maybe watching the warm-up video from the live session as well because I know the last week's session was quite or last week's videos were quite echoey in the hall. Okay so this one's the easy um, session again do you, you go at your own pace okay if there is an exercise which i'm going for you cannot do it um try and use one of the variations i will verbally do it and also show you time to demonstrate the versions as well as we go along okay so last week session i tried to alter the um the orientations of the exercises to make it a lot easier for people as well um, so I'm going to stick with the same session as last week. However, I am adding an extra exercise into the core workout and adding an extra exercise into the plyometric workout as well. So over the six weeks or the seven sessions, they will progressively get harder um, or adding an exercise to make sure that when it comes to the next, the final live session, um, you can definitely feel the, of the progress you've had over each session. Okay, so the each of the exercises, okay, so the same order as last last time as well. So you've got the squats, lunges, sea and touches, the calf raises, then you've got the elbow to knee crunch, then you've got the leg raise, the flutter kicks, then you have the V sits, then you have the Russian twists, and then this is when we're gonna add the V plank. So after the Russian twist, you've got the V plank, just quickly show you the V plank. Do you have 20 seconds in between each exercise anyway? But the V plank is basically you're holding the V. Okay, so this is your V shape. We're just holding it for the 20 seconds. Okay, so that is the V, the V plank, and that's and after the V plank, you then have the press ups, then the plank. Okay the shoulder taps, and then the tricep dips to finish. Okay, so know the tricep dips, some people were struggling with the straight legs, so you can always bend your knees as well on the tricep dips. So bend your knees, and again, then going down like that as well. Okay, so there are the exercise of the core, and I'll go through the plyometric session during your two minute rest after the core session as well. So you're going to have 20 seconds of exercise and 20 seconds rest. Quickly add up all of them quickly. So it's 14 exercises we're going to be going through today and then, or 14 core exercises and then we'll be going through the plyometric workout as well. So just follow my interval timer. So 14 exercises, 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. We're going to start in five, four, and the first one is the squat. So make sure you put your face forwards and let's go. Getting down nice and low. 10 seconds gone, 10 seconds left. Make sure your back's nice and straight up hunched over as you're going down and one 20 seconds rest i'm going to move my camera further down slightly as well next one is the lunges so again make sure you're not going too over forwards be knee bend down and go like that we start in three two one and go the lunges Again, if you want to play any music, you can. Okay, the only reason why I don't put any music on, people are going to go at different tempos, at different speeds, therefore it may not go to your music. And stop there. Okay, the next one, the ceiling touches. Put all the way up to the ceiling, and bend it all the way down as well. I've got quite tight hamstrings, so I'm not going to push it. Okay, otherwise I'm going to cause myself more injury. So you can go to the top of the ceiling, and try and go down to your toes. And go. Okay, 
as you can see I'm able to increase my range each time I go down and stop there okay next one is going to be the calf raises come off the ground lift your calves and go back down so lift from your calves go back down still got 10 seconds until we start with the exercise five four three two one and go up and down up and down Five seconds left. And stop there. Next one is the elbow to knee crunches. Again, you can do these standing up or down on the floor. So an elbow to knee crunch, so we look like that. Then you alternate as well. So I'll do these up, standing up. Okay, you can do these laying down as well. We've got five seconds left of the rest. And go. Nice and controlled. And stop there. Okay, the next ones are the leg raises. Okay, if you can't go all the way up, just go till whatever is comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to turn around quickly this way. So go when whatever is comfortable, just raise your legs up and then back down. Okay, you've got three seconds, two, one, and go. Don't forget to breathe as well. I know some people like to hold it as they're doing exercises, but don't forget to breathe. Three, two, one, and stop there. The next one is the leg, is the flutter kicks. So again, the flutter kicks are the small, very small movements of your feet. If you can't do a flutter kick, might as well do a one-legged leg raise as well. It's entirely up to you. We've got three seconds to the flutter kicks. Three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, the next one after that, okay, it is the so just looking on my board, here's the V-sits, so the V-sits again, nice straight arms and legs. If you can't do that, you're going to do your leg, go and redo the leg raises. It's going to start with three, two, one, and go. Nice and controlled, you're going up and down. And stop there. Okay. The next one is the Russian twists. Okay. With the Russian twists, you have your legs on the floor, or legs up on the side. Okay, and then rotating again either side because the rotation is what improves your core. I'm gonna have my legs up in the air, you have your legs down on the floor, and go. And stop there. Okay, the next one is the new exercise. Okay, it's then going to be the V plank. So the V plank, okay, it's you sitting up, lifting your legs up, and then just holding it. Okay, you can have your legs straight or bent. I'm going to have mine bent for demonstrating. You've got to start in three, two, one, and go. So just holding it there. Don't forget to breathe and try not to move as you're just holding it there. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, the next one is the press-ups. With the press-ups, I'm going on my knees, okay. The normal press-ups, you can have your knees off the floor, you're going to go down and up. These ones are going to go on my knees, 
Again, your back should still be quite straight. And go like that as well. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Five seconds. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, it is the plank. So you can go on your knees if you want, on the elbows, okay. I'm going to keep my legs up off the floor and on my elbows. Okay, we've got just over five seconds left. Three, two, one, and into the plank. Making sure you're not too high up. You should be able to balance a chair on top of your back. And stop there. Okay, so that's the plank. Next thing you've got to do is a shoulder tap. So you can do on your knees again, okay, just raising your arms on your shoulder. And we we'll start doing that, okay, very shortly in five seconds. Two, one, and go. So you can touch your shoulders. We'll you make it harder, you can go off your knees if you want. And stop there. 20 seconds rest. We've got one more exercise left. It's everyone's favourite, I'm sure. You okay, guys, the tricep. So we're going to do these with my knees bent. So it'll look like this. So you've gone inside the chair, the windowsill, or sofa, whatever you've got. Your knees bent. And then going down and up. And three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, we're going to have two minutes rest. Two minutes rest. And then I'll, while I'm going to rest, I'm going to grab some water because you need to make sure you've got water by the side. And I'll go through each of the exercises as well in the plyometrics. So it could be more than two minutes rest. It just depends how quickly I'll go through it. Okay, it's not going to be any less than two minutes, but I'm just going to go through each exercise of the plyometrics as well. Okay, so actually you've got to Warm my mat away as well, so I've got more space. Okay, so we're also adding a um, new exercise to this la um, from last week as well. So we're actually going to add a new exercise at the very beginning, that's a mountain climber. So again, with the mountain climber, okay, similar to the start of a plank. What you're going to do, you can do, you can, it's probably going to be easier. So I've got loads of, of the mat now on the floor. Okay, what's going to be easier is you just probably go on, holding out your legs straight. In your own time, what then are going to do is bring your, your knees, alternate to your elbow, sort of changing each time. Bring your knee to the elbow. You can go fast if you want, or go in your own time like that. Okay, in between each plyometric one, okay, you are going to have 30 seconds rest. Okay, then we're going to go to jumping squats. Again, if you can't do a jumping squat, okay, just do a normal squat. Okay, next one is a jumping lunge. If you can't do a jumping lunge, just do a lunge. Then you've got the plain capers, okay. Fast hops, both sides with the minor steps, entirely up to you. I'll, for the, for the, this version, I'll be doing a double step the first time around, and then a single step in the last time around. You then have an in and out squat, and then you've got some jumping jacks. Okay, then we've got broad jumps. That's a two piece jump, I'm going to go towards the camera because I don't have much room. I should have enough room actually. Ball jump, two footed jump, and then turn around, 
two foot jump. And then we finish up with some more steps as well. Okay, so we probably had nearly three minutes rest now actually. So we're gonna have 20 seconds, 20 seconds of exercise, 30 seconds of rest. Just gonna count how many exercises we've got. We've got 11 exercises, okay, so that's gonna be 20 seconds exercise and 30 seconds rest. Just get my counter up. So don't forget to have some water in between the 30 seconds rest and don't forget to go at your own pace as well. If you can't do any of the other, if you can't do the exercise, um, try and do the variation or modification I've suggested as well. So five seconds, four to get into the mountain climbers. One and go. So you can go at your own pace. Okay, bring your knees to your elbows. And stop there. The 30 seconds rest, okay. Then you've got the jump and squat. Again, if you can't do this jump and squat, just go into the squat. Okay, if you want to do a jump and squat, go down, quick jump, and back down into straight into the squat. You've got 15 seconds rest left. Five seconds to jump and squats. Three, two, one, and go. Next left. And stop there. Okay. If you're getting hot, okay, grab some water, then go straight into the jumping lunges. Okay. Jumping lunge, you can't do a jump, just do a normal lunge. You've got 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, jumping lunges. And stop there. Next one, I'm just gonna grab some water myself. Not got any airflow in my flat. Next one's the plain capers again. As you would finishing the field town dance, going your own pace as well. So that's what plain caper looks like. In five seconds, four, three, two, one, and go. Plain capers. Ten seconds left. And stop there. Next one, okay. Got some water again if you need it. Next one is the fast hops. So yeah, fast hops, I mean, as many hops as you can on one leg. Have eight seconds rest, as many hops as you can. On the other, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, left leg, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, you should now feel in your left leg contracting, getting slightly heavier. That will dissipate as your rest continues. Then go into your other leg. Okay, I'm going to do the same again. You just got over 15 seconds left. Get water on board if you are 
feeling a bit hot and for breakfast as well. Five, four, three, right leg, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, the next one is the double steps, so like I said before. I'm just going to go for a nice, or nice and gentle, buckle um, style stepping. So, so basically, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one. So there's not a lot of air, but there's lots of quick contractions of the leg, one after the other. Just got five, maybe five seconds to go. Double step. Okay, you can do any step you want, and go. And stop there. So round very nice, stop half a through a double set. You got 30 seconds. The next one is the in and out squats. If you can't go in and jump out, go out. Okay, again, just do a normal squat. Okay, you've got 15 seconds left. Do we go in and out squats? Similar to say uh, one of the bumps and slows as well. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, still got 30 seconds left, is the normal jumping jacks. Okay, you can go in your own pace, out, in. Okay, we'll just go continuously as well. We've got 15 seconds left until we start doing those. 10 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, we've got one more left, well, sorry, two more left. Okay, we've got the ball jumps and then the minor steps, and then that's it for this week's session. Okay, we've still got 15 seconds left into the ball jumps, so that's a two footed jump. Go from one side, turning, and then jumping back as well. Okay, we've got less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, we've got one more exercise left. Okay, and this one's going to be a single step. So, bumps and single step. So, what I'm going to do, don't forget, you can do a double step again. An elaborate double step. Or a last step as well. So, I'm going to demonstrate the single steps. You've got 10 seconds left. Final exercise this week as well. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and go. If you want to put the arms in, you can. It's entirely up to you. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, so if you do want to do um, each session again, just stop and go back to the beginning of the session, okay, and do a core workout again or do the plyometrics workout again as well. I know some people last week 
did the easy core, then the easy plyometrics, then went on to the hard sessions as well. You could do that as well as a little warm up to the harder sessions. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next week for video number four.